So Wayne, right here, we've got the typical ding. Now, what's your best way of attacking this and getting it smooth? Okay, the, basically you've got four procedures you're gonna follow. Mm -hmm. You're gonna clean it first. Yep. Then you're gonna sand it. Yep. Then you're gonna fill it. Gotcha. Then you'll come back and re-sand it after you've applied the filler. Okay, and, and the, we're gonna start with like a, a you're gonna the most coarse sandpaper. Right, mm -hmm. so use 80 grit starting out. Yep. To get all the paint around the surrounding earth carried out about an inch to inch and a half beyond. Okay. Sand it down to bare metal, then you're ready to apply the filler into your den. Cool. Now, before we go any further, with your accent and mine, I guess we're both from the south, right? Absolutely, <laughs> positively. Because <laughs> that's pretty strong. <laughs> Alrighty, so we start with the 80 grit. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, it just seems criminal, doesn't it? Putting it, sandpaper on the juco of a car. It does. And, you know, that's what intimidates <clears throat> a lot of people. But what mm. 3M has done is come together with a kit yeah. that simplified that. They've given you all the components you need mm -hmm. to do this job and take the guesswork out. So when you go in, you cut the directions as you get off 3MCarCare.com. Yeah. And you go in and you know what you're doing. You got the product you need there. You don't have to hunt. You don't have to guess. And you got the so website your steps. to, to you got back the website. up as well. Yes, sir. And that's like less than 20 bucks, correct? Yes, sir. And yes. it's interesting, you know, watching what you've been doing. And, uh, you know, I'm a bit of a passionate car guy myself. But it's so similar to home improvement projects. And I, I think a lot of people don't realize that because they're intimidated Absolutely. by working on cars, aren't they? Absolutely. You know, I keep thinking if people are in there and they're sanding drywall or trim or baseboard or what have you, that same method is what we're doing right here. Absolutely. Doing that on a $250,000 home versus a $20,000 car, same process. It is, isn't it? Get the yeah. end results, yeah. and, it's, and it's as easy. And I know with Bondo, it's, uh, I've been in the game now for 28 years, and they have that in Australia as well, and yes. <laughs> I work with it a lot. But I think for people to understand, if they mess up the first time, they sand it back and do it absolutely. again. Absolutely. Because the key is, you wouldn't be working on it if it wasn't messed up. Exactly. So if That's you mess true. it up the first time, you always come back, put a little more filler, finesse it, you come back, yep. no crime, no foul, you're ready to go again. No foul. <laughs> and it's all about improving it, right? Absolutely. All righty. So let's see, uh, let's see your handiwork here. Okay. Let's see if you're the real deal, Wayne. Absolutely. Now, we've already cleaned the panel. Yep. So we're going ahead and take the 80 grip. Okay. And we're going to sand. As you see, as you're sanding, already you can tell you're Highlights cutting around right outside yeah. or you're getting around your dent. Okay. And you just want to continue to do that and carry it down to your bare metal. Okay. You see the color begins to change. Now, how many coats normally are there on a typical car? You've got the clear coat. You got what well, you've got your primer, yep. sealer, yep. base, and then clear. Okay, so four coats. Yeah. So you're sanding through four coats. Yes. Here. As you see, you can tell we've got through the clear, we're down near the base, now yep. we get into the primer. Yep. And of course, on the new panel, you've got your e coat. Yep. And this is probably a good idea, you know, for first timers or even professionals to probably wear a mask, a little bit of safety gear in this yes, project. Yes, gloves, mask. Okay. Especially when you apply your filler. Right. Okay, so there's four coats that we've just gone through. Mm -hmm. And it's great because that really highlights the area that needs yes, to be you filled, doesn't it? Yes, you can see as you're going. Yeah. You, tend, you maintain your dent in, you work around the outside where you can okay. land your filler back in on all the way around. Okay. Now, how much are you going to sand back now? You're down to the bare metal. Do you need to get a, a larger diameter? Yes, you're, going, you're just going to carry it on out. You're going to get about an inch to two inches okay. around the diameter of it okay. where you can work your filler inside of your area. And does that mean that the filler has something to bond to? So Correct. you want the filler to bond to the metal? Correct. To the You'll paint get that itself. mechanical bond. Mechanical Sand bond. Gives there you, you go. The bite to put it in. It gives you mechanical bond. Gotcha. All right, mate. So that's great. So that's the first step, isn't it? Yes. And what about the middle part? Do you have to kind of yeah, sand have that to out a little turn bit? Your block okay. Around. And get that to metal as well. Go down in as well. Correct. Very cool. So that's the go. first step. Yes, sir. Getting it prepared, getting it sanded, which is sometimes right. the biggest job out of anything. Isn't Absolutely. It? Yeah. Once you get beyond that, the rest of it's easy. Cool. Because that's the intimidating part. Right. So once you get that, you're ready to go. All right, mate. So you've sanded it. You've Correct. wiped it down, I see. Correct. And now it's a matter of applying the filler. Correct. Okay, and uh, as we both know, it's got to be really mixed uniformly. Correct. Now, any particular tip here or method when applying it? Uh, like I said, the first coat wants to be a good wet coat, tight mm -hmm. coat. Make sure you get it pressed in good. Okay. And you when you're saying sure a wet finish too, it's where you're making good contact makes, all the way around. Makes good contact to the okay. metal, correct. Okay, now this is basically all part of the kit too, isn't it? Correct. Okay. We'll make sure you put enough filler in the middle so when you sand, sand around the edges, it brings it down even. Okay. Okay. So there we go. And, and now the, this... And the smoother you wipe it, the less sanding you have at the end. True. And that's always a good thing, isn't it? Correct. You see a lot of people, they overfill something. They spend the rest exactly. of their life sanding and it back exactly. down. 
Okay. Now, how long do you think we'll need to wait for that wait. to dry? Approximately 20 minutes. Okay. And we'll come back and re-sand with the 80 grit sandpaper. Perfect. Coffee break. Absolutely. Okay. So, Wayne, we're sanding it with 80 grit, the Correct. same as you sanded the face of the door. Correct. Okay. And once we get the bulk of this away, do we change the grade? Yes, sir. Once you get it evened out, yep. get it down level, mm -hmm. then you want to change over to a 180 grit. Right. Take the sand scratches from the 80 grit out and feather the exterior edge of your paint there. Okay. To where things nice feathered in. Okay. And what's the last uh, grit paper that we use? Be a 180 on this, and then you'll go to the primer and paint, which you can get at your local retail stores. Okay. Get that primer paint, follow their manufacturing instructions yep. on that. Then, in the final step of that, once you put your primer on, then you'd come back with your 320. Perfect, perfect. Okay, well, let me get standing. And as you pointed out beforehand, too, you don't want to sand too much of the body itself. Correct. You don't want to be it doing this. Contained in that area. Yeah. Well, mate, it's bringing back the memory. The smell of Bondo. Smell of dollars. <laughs> You know, I was telling you uh, beforehand one of my first projects was 177 door frames. Yeah. I must have used a 20 gallons of Bondo. Well versed at door frames. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's feeling good. I might, uh, I've got a little bit more of this to go, but again, it's the 80 to the 180. 180 right. And then uh, it's prime, prime and paint. Prime, 320, then paint. Good stuff. Cool. All righty, mate. All right. So I'm going to continue. Finish it off with this, change the paper, and uh, we're ready to prime and paint. Ready to go. Cool. Well, I'm going to get busy.